If you are looking for a fast and easy way to spy on your competitors' Google Ads campaigns, then you are in the right place. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over a few of my favorite tools to not only see which ads your competitors are using inside of Google, the creative, the headlines, different things like that, but also to see how much they are spending inside of Google. So you can kind of understand if you are spending the same amount to be competitive in the market and see if your creative is as good as theirs. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's jump right in. We're actually gonna be talking about the first tool, which is 100% free, which is Google Ad Transparency Center. Now, what's cool about this tool is it actually is very new. Google has recently rolled this out and it is a very valuable tool to see exactly all of the ads that your competitors are running inside of Google. In order to get here, just go to adstransparency.google.com. I'll leave a link to that down below. Alternatively, if you are out searching, you know, say you're looking for Nike and you find ad for theirs, and another way to get here as well is if you are looking for a specific brand, let's say we're looking for Adidas and we find an ad, you can click on these three little dots right here and then go to the see more about this advertiser and it will take you to this exact spot where it will actually have the Adidas, it'll actually have the Adidas store already populated inside of here. But I'll come back over here and start from this kind of point. So you can see here, this is very simple. All we need to go through and do is type in the company that we're wanting to find. Google will go through and find it. You can see Nike Inc right here, based in the United States. You can see they have 30,000 ads inside of here. You can get an idea of some of the advertisers, how much they're running. If you wanted to look for like Walmart or like another big brand, you can go through and find that. Google is forcing every company to go through and verify their account. And as a result, pretty much every business here in the next few months will have ads inside of this ad transparency center. So no matter how big or small your competition is, they should be showing up inside of here. So let's take Nike though, as an example, and go through and search here, Nike Inc. What this is going to do is it's literally going to sort through and show us all of the ads that Nike is currently running. These are all of their different text ads. And what's cool about this is up at the top, there's a couple different filters. So you can filter for any time or you can do last 30 days, last seven days and today. I find the most helpful is like last 30 days. That way you see what's recently running instead of some things that are you know back in June of 2018. Now keep in mind, the way that people get added to this is when they go through and verify their identity in Google ads. And so the date range on some of these competitors will be vastly different. You can see, you, I can see Nike's data all the way back from June 2018 because that's when they went through and verified their account. But there are some Google Ads accounts that still haven't gone through and verified, so just keep that in mind. But you can also go through and up here, there's a filter to go through and target, select a specific region as well. Nike's an international company, so they have ads in all different places. This is just specifically for the United States. And then this is a really helpful one as well. This is where you can go through and see the different formats. So you can go through and look at only the image ads and you can see the specific creative that they're running with the headlines underneath there. If you click on one of these ads, it will give you a little bit more information, but not not really a ton more. We're unable to see these formats right now. So I haven't found it super helpful to go through and click in the ads. Usually I'll go through and like kind of skim through these. Now, if you wanted to, you can go through and do the text ads as well inside of here and look at where they're going. We can go through and look at the text ads. Now, if you wanted to see different variants of this ad for the text ads, you can click on here and then you can see one of three variations and then it will go through and you can skip through these different ones. So this is a great way to go through and find a headline copy that may be working inside of your industry. And as you can see, there are a ton of ads inside of here. So that's the first option. And this is great because you can go through and it's free. It's quick to do. Go through and see which ads are currently running. But if you want a little bit more data, including like how much your competitors are spending, that's why I recommend using a tool called SEMrush. Now I'm not going to lie, SEMrush is a little bit more of an expensive tool because it can do so much. So you can see here the plans here, the pro, guru, and business. However, the great thing is if you click the link down below, you will get a seven day free trial. And the great thing about that seven day free trial is you can get all the research that you need and then go through and cancel before you go through and get it paid. Or if you find it super helpful to keep a plan, you could go with one of these ones. I'm personally on the pro plan. I find it very helpful for not only competitor research, but also for SEO and different things like that. So now let's go over to SEMrush and show you kind of how this works. So as I mentioned, SEMrush is a tool that that does lots of different things, but what we're gonna be talking about today specifically is how to gather data on our competitors' Google Ads campaigns. So if we come over here to this advertising feature, you're gonna come over to this advertising research, and from here, what you wanna do is go through and type in the domain of your competitor. So we're just gonna stick with the nike.com, go through and hit search here. And this is going to give you a lot of data, as you can see, a lot more than the Ad Transparency Center, which can be very helpful. So here we are on this dashboard here for nike.com, and you can see a lot of different things. You can see we have the total keywords, the traffic, the traffic cost. And what's really nice about this is you can see the traffic cost based on trends. You can see back in 2021, it looks like Nike was spending more on advertising costs than they are right now. So if you're a competitor to Nike, maybe is it worth it for us to go through and ramp down our ads as well? Or maybe it's time to ramp up because Nike's kind of stepping off the gas a little bit. So you can go through and see all of the 
keywords that they are also bidding on and the current position of those keywords. You can see the volume and then the traffic and how much they are spending on that specific keyword. And these little arrows will also show you if there's been some changes in the position. You can see some of the, most of these, it looks like they've just stayed at bid one. They're probably bidding very high for these. And because it is like Nike related things, you can also see the URL where they're taking people to, which is really helpful. So you can go see the landing pages where these ads are actually taking. Now, if you wanted to search for a specific keyword, you can go through and filter by keywords as well. And there are also these advanced filters where you can go through and do include or exclude specific keywords position or um, containing or not containing. This is really helpful say that you wanted to specifically look at what keywords words Nike was bidding on for golf, what golf related keywords they're doing. You can go through and type in golf and we can see which keywords in here Nike is bidding on for golf. And you can see that loads up and it gives you an idea, a breakdown of how much they're spending a month on these different terms for Nike golf as well, which is really helpful. So you can see here's all the terms that they're bidding for. You know, if you're wanting to compete with them in the golf arena, this would be very helpful data up here as well. You can go through and see position changes. So up in this position change tab, you can go through and see how many new keywords they're bidding on or how many lost keywords and the keywords selected for the date. This does also show you the average cost per click that they are paying for these specific keywords and then the total difficulty on how hard it is to rank for these keywords if you're bidding against them. So the higher the keyword difficulty, the chances are the more you're going to have to bid in order to get into that specific spot. Over here is where you can go through and look at the competitors in the landscape. This is helpful for finding other competitors that you may not be aware of. So you can see these are all the different competitors that Nike comes up against in the Google auctions. You can go through and click into these URLs and do the same research that we're doing on Nike just by clicking on, you know, if we wanted to look at Dick's Sporting Goods, if you click there, it's it's now going to take you to this spot where you can go through and look at their current spend and traffic costs. And then finally, the last really helpful thing inside of here is actually the ad copies as well. So I know we looked at this in the ad transparency center, but this actually does give you a little bit more data and kind of a more organized view. In my opinion, you can see the full ads inside of here. It looks like we're in the Dick sporting goods right now, not at Nike. So, uh, but you can go through and look at all of the different ads that they're running. And then what's nice here is you can click this down and it has the specific keywords that go to this ad. So if you found an ad copy that you really liked and you wanted to see which keywords are actually going for that, you could click this down and see, hey, hey, here's all the keywords that are currently running this specific ad. Now on top of research for text ads, they do also have this PLA research tab here. The thing about this one is you do need to have the guru plan in order to get the most data out of it. And I'll show you what I mean. You can see it'll give you an idea of the PLA positions that they have, the product listing ads or shopping ads that they are running. But if you wanted more data here, you can see you got to go through and upgrade your plan. I only have the pro plan, not the guru, but it, this is very helpful as well if you're running shopping ads to see what their product title is descriptions are. And then you can see a few of the other copy inside of here, but then you got to go through and upgrade your plan to the guru plan in order to get up there. Now, and these are honestly the two main tools that I use to go through and spy on competitors campaigns and how much they're spending. The nice thing about having a SEMrush account is it also, if you're doing SEO or social media stuff, there's lots of other things that you can do inside of here. So be sure to poke around in here a little bit more during your seven day free trial, and we'll see you in the next video.